Okay, I only have about three minutes of recording time left on my uh, memory card here. So I'm just going to sort of point out a few things. You got a nice grip here. Uh, you got a big, big awning. So this, uh, I'm too close to my house right now, but this awning has a motor, of course, and it goes way out and makes for a really nice shade. It's got a wind uh, sensor on it, so it'll automatically retract if the wind gets too heavy. Uh, Anyway, I'm not sure you'll be able to see, but the tires are in good shape. The the um, the rims uh, are perfect. They're all glossed up now. Uh, these tires have got plenty of depth of um, of uh, tread to them. There's no evidence of any you know chop or anything like that. Uh, nice big mirrors on both sides. There's an awning over top of the front door as well, and that's powered too. Um, I'll get up nice and close. You can just see how nice the finish is here we just had it detailed and it's I mean it's perfect it's it looks brand new um, that's the vent for the refrigerator I think or the water heater that's the water here and again I'm just slowly going down so you can just see how clean everything is it's just beautiful uh, this is your uh, battery compartment where your starter batteries are um, your house batteries are in the front uh, big uh, uh, storage spaces. I'll just open one of them so you can get a sense of how clean they are. Uh, this we use this as our pantry uh, container, and all of these have lights on them as well. So you have a little light here to uh, turn on and turn off. And they're all like that. Got to give them a little hip check. And these tires are just as good a shape, maybe even better. There again, plenty of depth. Uh, no evidence of any wear or damage and the, the, the wheels themselves look great. Um, so you have a pass through here uh, which goes all the way through the other side and uh, we you know, this is all cleaned out. Um, I did bring the key home with me to open the garage here. I'll be able to show you from the other side. But this is like a roll top desk. It just rolls straight up and into the rig and uh, you have this huge open space. Uh, maybe I'll have to make another video once I have the key again. Um, going along the back here, uh, brand new uh, condition on everything. Hitch, ladder, surfaces. This is like a, this opens up too. Um, like, and you can put skis and so, sort of tall, skinny stuff in there. It's maybe eight inches deep. Uh, I put all our folding chairs in there. Uh, you have your standard uh, seven prong connector for hooking up your your uh, your tow uh, cable or your tow dolly. Uh, and then you have another big opening here. I'm going to open this one. I'm just about out of memory. Oh, it's a little heavy. Try not to smoosh myself. And uh, you have this huge space in here. I mean, it's really big. Uh, it may not translate well and you have lights on both sides so at nighttime you can see and then underneath it you have even more storage so we kept all our camping gear under here if you're somebody who's likely to uh, carry a kayak you could definitely get it in here and then I'll just have to quickly gloss over this side but you're uh, going to move okay picking up where we uh, left off um, Here's where the uh, radiator is that um, uh, goes back into the to the mid-engine uh, motor. This is where the um, dipstick is and, and where you can get to your filters and such, where you can put in your oil. Uh, this is where the electrical 50-amp uh, 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 cord is, and you'll see in the back there in orange is my the surge guard, uh, surge protector that we had installed as an aftermarket addition to the to the rig, and again, all of these have lights in them, which is uh, just a really nice feature when you're doing stuff at night. Uh, this is your water compartment, um, yeah, so there's your filter. So the whole house is getting all the house water is getting filtered. There's a couple of hoses here that uh, will come along with it. It's also a you know a rinse off. Um, dealy here so that you can rinse your hands or whatever afterwards. Um, all the sort of typical things you'd expect in a high-end RV. Uh, this is your propane tank. Uh, I want to say that's a 25 gallon tank. It lasts plenty long enough. Oh, oh I sh these are simple creature features but you have two um, filling ports. One on either side. That, that, that's something that you'll really appreciate. 
if you have don't have that already so you can pull in on any side uh, as I said in the earlier video the tires and the wheels are all in great shape this is where the um, a lot of the fuses are uh, and that sort of thing so um, oh one thing I didn't mention you have um, cameras on both sides so that when you turn your um, turn signal on your uh, backup camera actually switches to the side camera and you can see uh, what's coming at you and as I said probably more than once the the, the finish on the on the unit is in great shape uh, here this front panel will open up I can't do it one-handed so that'll have to be another video and inside of there is the 8 kilowatt uh, diesel generator the four house batteries uh, I don't know that's pretty much the only stuff in there that matters and uh, you've got the high-end you know high output out um, headlights and as I said in an earlier video the windshield is just in pristine shape we actually had it replaced at the um, factory about four weeks ago um, because we had a big stone chip in it so they just put a new one in that was part of our insurance uh, so you get a brand new you get a brand new windshield with the purchase and I think that's pretty much it there, there's not much to talk about on the top you've got two air horns up there um, as uh, to try to get people to move out of your way and uh, it's just a really nice camper and I hope this uh, video has been helpful